Data Science Foundation using R specialization. This is quite a well-known learning program on Coursera from John Hopkins University. There have so far been over 100,000 enrollments, and the average rating for it is 4.6 out of 5 stars. But does it mean you should take it too? My name is Daniel, and today I have got the Data Science Foundations using Art Specialization review for you. So things I'm going to cover in this review are Course overview, structure and content, pricing and certification, career opportunities, Traditionally, we will look at some student reviews, and I will let you know what I personally think about this course series. Also, guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts. Let's get into it. Overview. Alright, so what is this course series all about? Well, my friends, it's designed to empower you to master the following skills. Asking insightful questions to drive data analysis and decision making. Confidently manipulating and analyzing data sets to uncover valuable insights. Crafting compelling data visualizations that effectively communicate your findings. By the end of this course, you are expected to be well equipped to tackle data analysis challenges and present your results in a clear, visually engaging manner. All in all, this specialization provides a comprehensive understanding of the basic aspects of data science. You will learn how to effectively gather, process and explore data sets. That will allow you to uncover valuable insights. And what's more, you will develop your skills in R programming. And that, guys, is a powerful language for statistical computing and data analysis. Throughout the course, you will discover how to conduct reproducible research, ensuring reliability and transparency in your findings. So, by mastering these foundational data science tools and techniques, you will be ready to tackle real-world challenges with confidence and proficiency. Folks, it's important to note here that this learning program was designed as a foundation for two other specializations for John Hopkins University. Once you finish this one, you will be able to tackle the data science specialization. In fact, all courses included in this course series are a part of the data science specialization. And by the way, guys, I have already reviewed it on this channel. So feel free to check out that video if you are interested. And when you are ready to get into more advanced data science topics, you can take the data science statistics and machine learning specialization. Ok, so who is this course series for? Well, folks, I can say that it would be helpful to have some programming experience in any language to make the most of this course. But don't worry if you don't have that, guys. As long as you have a basic understanding, you will be well prepared for the material. Additionally, a solid foundation in mathematics up to algebra will be beneficial. Neither calculus nor linear algebra is required to succeed in this course, so no worries. Structure and content Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in the return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy the content I make, that's all. Ok, this Job Hopkins specialization includes 5 courses, here they are. The Data Scientist Toolbox. In this course you will explore the essential tools and concepts every data scientist needs. You will learn how to turn raw data into useful insights and get hands-on experience with tools like version control, markdown, git, github, r or R Studio. R programming. In this course you will learn how to program in R and use it for data analysis. You will learn how to read data, use R packages, write and debug code, and organize your work. You will also explore real-world examples of data analysis to show you how it all comes together. Getting and cleaning data. In this course, you will learn how to get data from various sources like the web, APIs, databases and, of course, colleagues. You will also cover the basics of cleaning data and making it tidy for easier analysis. You will understand what makes up a complete data set, including raw data, processing instructions, code books and processed data, exploratory data analysis. In this course, you will learn how to explore and summarize data to understand it better before doing detailed statistical modeling. You will use R to create great data graphics and visualize complex data. These techniques will help you see what questions your data can answer. Reproducible research. And in this final course, you're going to learn how to report data analysis in a way that others can easily reproduce. You will use tools that let you combine your data and analysis into one document. So anyone can follow your steps and get the same results. 
So, as you can see, folks, it pretty much covers all the data science basics. And what I especially like, it's not all theory. You will get to practice with quizzes and heads-on assignments. Price and certification value. Alright, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So, when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And guys, I totally understand, months of subscription sounds like a lot. But based on some feedback, I have seen some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Now, let's talk about certification. When you successfully complete the entire certification program, you will also get a career certificate. And it can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But folks, let me be straight with you. In my opinion, the practical skills and knowledge you gain here are more valuable than the certificate itself. Based on my experience, employers are often more impressed by your professional knowledge and skills than the certificates you hold. Career opportunities So, as I am sure many of you wondering, does this program help you find a job? Well, guys, I can say that potentially it does. Because this course teaches you some solid skills. And that kind of knowledge can definitely boost your chances of finding a better paying job. On the other hand, it's not designed to prepare you for a job search. It's made to teach you some skills to add to your existing skill set. That's why, guys, it's completely up to you if you want to use it as a stepping stone in your career or just a way to extend your knowledge. In any case, it's likely you will need to take some other courses or learning programs. Moreover, according to my experience, some interview preparation will be necessary too, especially if landing a high-paying position is your goal. Student reviews Ok, folks, time to look at some student reviews. Well, I can say that the majority of reviews for this course are pretty positive. But as with every course out there, there is praise and there are complaints. So, let's start with positive reviews. The majority of students know that this course series is well structured and all the complex concepts are well explained. Here is one of the positive reviews I found, for example. I often feel like people completely ignore the science aspect of data science. This course does an excellent job of introducing key aspects of the scientific method that you might not have encountered it if you have never done an experiment before. The final project is a lot of work, mostly data cleaning, but very fun and informative. On the other hand, guys, I have seen many complaints about how repetitive this course is. Some concepts seem to be repeated over and over again from course to course. So, folks, keep all that in mind. Is the data science foundations using art specialization worth it? Alright, and now let's get to the big question. Is this course serious worth your time and money? Well, guys, if you are someone who is fairly new to data science, I think you will find this course to be extremely valuable and beneficial. It provides you with the solid foundation any beginner data scientists need to have. It gives you a pretty good understanding of essential concepts, tools and techniques. But of course, if you are a data science pro, it might be too basic for you. In that case, you should pick a more advanced learning program. Alright, my friends, and that's all for my data science foundations using our specialization review. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time!